For the love of fish keeping. What does that mean to you? I know what it means to me. But what does it mean to you? I mean, there's all sorts of cool things about the aquarium hobby. Freshwater and salt, for that matter. Saltwater tanks have really vibrant colored animals and strange bodies. Wonderful weird shapes like the mantis shrimp and and all sorts of you know jellyfish and stuff like that that's i mean those are cool they really are i don't keep salt water as some of you may know but what about freshwater freshwater has its its perks too it's got really colorful fish uh, there's the electric blue acara oh yes it is a man-made fish but so is the flower horn and the parrot cichlid and so many others but there's also natural fish that are gorgeous i mean have you looked closely at a crebensis just a common crebensis i mean look closely they're beautiful so is the rock hill Severum. i am biased i'll admit it but there are lots of pretty things in the aquarium hobby the freshwater aquarium hobby and to be honest there's a lot to love about this hobby. There's a lot to not so much like. Yeah, water maintenance, or aquarium maintenance, or tank maintenance, or whatever you want to call it. Whatever kind of maintenance you want to call it. Maintenance isn't fun. But we do it because we love our aquariums. We love our fish. We love how they look. We love how the tanks look. We have, there, there's just, it's hard to explain. So hopefully, you can you can understand where somebody would be coming from, such as my son, Noah. Noah's Ark Aquariums or Aquatics. I can't remember exactly what his YouTube channel is, but he's he's got he doesn't even have his fish in a fish room. He's got a shed that he's converted. He calls it the watershed. It's up next.
So, what is the joy of fish keeping for you? Is it the fish? Is it the husbandry? The maintenance? The tanks? Are you just addicted to aquariums and you have to have as many pretty fish around as possible? Where did you get your fish? Where did your fish come from? You ever thought about that? You should really, really look into that. So where did you get your fish? Have you ever thought about that? Where did they come from? Did they come from Nigeria? Or Brazil? Or Honduras? Or South Africa? Or Asia? India? They come from all over the world. Where did they come from? Where did your fish really come from? Did they come from Florida? Or did they come from a friend? Or a fellow YouTuber? Or a, a local breeder? Your local fish club? Where did your fish come from? It's important. It really is important to know where did your fish come from? Did they did they get bred locally? Were they bred in captivity? Were they harvested from the Amazon River? Or Lake Tanganyika or Lake Malawi or any number of lakes and rivers throughout the entire world? And were they harvested sustainably? So yeah, where did they come from? something that people don't really think about they know where their fish came from just like my son knows that his Honduran red points are from Honduras but where'd your fish really come from I've got a starry night cichlid they're from Madagascar I don't think that fish actually came from Madagascar so where did it come from I just want I want to show everybody why I love the hobby and in the journey 
of telling the story of why I love the hobby. I fell in love with another project. And another project. And another project. And another project. I have ADHD after all. <laughs> it's hard to keep my attention focused. But I'm focused. I'm focused like a knife. Like a laser. Like a rocket. I'm focused. On Project Piaba. And on doing what I can to help the hobby. Because I love keeping fish and I want to be able to keep fish in the future and in order for me to be able to keep the fish that I love in the future I need to support programs like Project Piaba because the fish that I love my joy my love of fish keeping is in South America and South Central America so I need to help wherever I can to preserve that region so that I will be able to enjoy the beautiful fish and wildlife of that region. So if you're South American and Central American cichlid keeper, not even just cichlids, but if you're just a fish keeper that keeps South American and Central American fish and you know that they're from that region, and sometimes you buy wild caught fish, which isn't a bad thing. Please consider looking into Project Piaba and taking part, doing something, getting active. 